Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I am going to work on a sensor, digital sensor that is LIS 3 DHTR. To have a knowledge about this sensor, to have a look about this sensor, so what we have to do is to visit the website that is controleverything.com and here we have to search out for this sensor as you can see on my screen. Now let's have a look over this sensor. As you can see, it's a 3 axis accelerometer. So it will have a digital output motion sensor as you can see free fall detection 3 axis accelerometer 60 40 orientation detection these are some of its features which you would like to see uh, you can purchase this sensor well i'm going to interface the sensor list 3 dhtr accelerometer with an arduino you know. for that i require an arduino code so go to the source tab and here comes the arduino code sample now you can download the arduino code sample as zip file from here and the second choice will be the github.com the repository there is control everything community and you can download the code there also now what do we require is to make a connection with the sensor along with some other hardware for the interfacing and the working let's connect this here is our sensor that is list 3 dhtr 3 axis accelerometer and this is an arduino nano now this here is an I2C shield which you are able to see on my screen and this is available on the website controleverything.com Now we want to make connections with other I2C devices that's why we are using this I2C shield as it makes these connections a lot easier so gently place over the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and now we want to make a connection among the sensor and the I2C shield and here comes a connecting cable now make this connection among the sensor and the cable and while making this connection Make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly this rule has to be followed for the I2C shield. Last, we need to power up our Arduino Nano and here comes a mini USB cable into the picture. Now gently insert it over the power jack and light it up. Hence we are done with the connections part. Now we require to interface a code along with this sensor. Let's have now I'm going to show the interfacing of the Arduino code uh, along with this sensor. To find the Arduino code we have to dig up to github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community which you are able to see on my screen. Now get over it and here search for the sensor LIS 3 dhtr as you can see and here is our required sensor. Now this is the Arduino code we would like to explore but before that let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow up to cover up this code. So we have downloaded and installed Arduino software ID on our local machine and this is the link. Arduino official link which will help us to install the software and also everything will be provided here as you can see. Uh, we can download the Arduino software, we can have the Windows, Mac, Linux installation, uh, we can have the updates, everything is being provided here. So get over it. Now let's go back to the Arduino code and I will explain it. As you can see it's a .ino extension file and the first thing you notice in the code that we have included void.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x18. In the void setup function I have initialized I2C communication as master and initialized serial communication and the baud rate equal to 9600. Now comes the sending command part and we have sent uh, first of all we have selected the control register 1 and that's 0x20 and send the command which says enable xyz axis power mode is on data rate selection is 10 hertz and the command we have written is 0x27 in the next second part we have selected the control register 4 having address 0x23 and we have set the continuous update along with plus minus 2g self test enabled and wire.write 0x00 is that command. Now as we are done, we have delay so that the sensor can sense the commands we have just sent. In the void to function, the data we are reading back is the response from the sensor back to us. So we have a for loop and we have selection data register from the address 40 which is the decimal equivalent and we are requesting and reading 6 bytes of acceleration data for the 3 axis x, y, z. After that we have the conversion of the data takes place which is according to the data sheet we have just read for LIS 3 DHDR. After that we want to have the data to be displayed on the screen 
onto the serial monitor in the form of Arduino as you can see and it's acceleration in x, y and z axis it's a perfectly formatted and the raw values will be displayed uh, now what do we require is to show the working of this code along with the sensor so why not have it now for the practical uh, for the working of this code copy this entire Arduino code and now open up the Arduino terminal here we have to paste the entire code we have just copied as you can see and we have to save it and here comes the name of the sensor LIS3DSTR for the reference now we have to compile and verify it and it's being compiled it's done now upload the code now code is being uploaded as you can see on my screen it's done uploading now we can have the output on the serial monitor for that open up the serial monitor and we have the acceleration data in the form of x y and z axis and as you can see it's almost stable and constant values which means the sensor is not in motion when i'm trying to move it in the direction as you can see the acceleration in x y and z axis is being changed and it's constantly changing according to the movement which I am causing for this sensor that is LIS 3 dhdr It's still there, the acceleration in XYZ axis is there. So this is how the sensor, the code works. So let's have a look over the features and the benefits and the applications of this particular sensor we have just worked upon. Now the LIS 3 dhdr is an ultra low power high performance 3 axis linear accelerometer belonging to the nano family with digital I2C SPI serial interface standard output. Now the device features ultra low power operational modes that allow advanced power saving and smart embedded functions. This sensor has dynamically user selectable full scales of plus minus 2G up to 16G and it's capable of measuring accelerations with output data rates from 1 Hz to 5 kHz. Now various applications uses this sensor which are motion activated functions, free fall detection, click, double click recognition, pedometer, display orientation, gaming and virtual reality, input devices, vibrational monitoring and compensation and a lot more. Now you can purchase the sensor from the website controleverything.com as you can see and you can also have the code from the resource tab you can download it from this site you can also have the code from github repository and the repository is control everything community now you can have the queries on control everything.com you can contact there and you can have your comments posted on the community page also for relevant blogs and articles you can reach us on instructables.com and to have more video tutorials you can subscribe our youtube channel in the end i just want to make it clear that you understood everything and in case of any issue regarding any part of this video you can contact me on controleverything.com i hope you enjoyed this video and yourself have a good one thanks a lot for watching